Today we learned the man suspected of killing four students near the University of Idaho was pursuing a PhD in criminal justice at Washington State University. And tonight, criminology experts are weighing in. Crim 2's Janelle Finch talked with one criminal justice expert about the suspected killer tonight. Krem 2 previously spoke with Chris Bertram, an associate professor of criminal justice earlier this month. Then we were looking to get his insight on the little information we had in the case of four Idaho student murders. Tonight, we ask him more now that a suspect has been arrested. Chris Bertram has decades of experience working in law enforcement and currently teaches criminal justice at Salt Lake Community College. He says in his work, he analyzes the psychology of criminals. He says knowing more about the background and education level of Brian Koberger, he believes he could be arrogant and might see himself as the smartest person in the room. And Bertram says he isn't surprised the suspect has local ties. He says crimes can occur over state lines where details are more likely to fall through cracks. Washington State is very close proximity, but across state lines. And so you're talking about different counties, different cities, um, different jurisdictions. And, and what we do know with the past with, you know, spree killers and serial killers, they take advantage of that. They take advantage of the disorganization that the minute you get outside uh, of a city or a county, those law enforcement resources there may have may be limited. Bertram says Koberger aligns with who he believed could have committed these crimes in terms of being local. He says a big development in the case was identifying the white car, and he commends the Moscow Police Department for bringing in the state police and FBI as early as they did to insist in the investigation. One of the biggest questions since the beginning of this investigation is did these four students know the killer? Bertram says it's possible they didn't, or he may have only met the victims a few times, being that he was only a one-semester student at WSU. But he says with a suspect arrested, we are closer to having answers to the questions swirling around this case. In the newsroom, Janelle Finch, Crumpton News.